All right, guys, here's some photos from Mopars in the Park 2018. This Duster has a pretty cool history. The guy's owned it since he's 16 years old. He built the engine himself. He actually lives next door to Gary Hedden at Magnum Superchargers, the guy that uh, built my engine, and he was over quite a bit whenever I would go over there. Really nice guy. I love the uh, 1970 Street Freak stance on this 68. You know, it's got the jacked up front end and back end, Krager SS's, traction bars. I mean, this is the epitome of cool in the 1970s. Unfortunately, uh, as much as I'd like to do that to my car, it's not the most popular look anymore. Most people prefer like this charger here, the extremely low slammed um, stance. I would, ran my finger in that fender lip and I don't know how he drives that thing on the street, but it's just a beautiful, perfect car. Speaking of perfect, this uh, 70 Charger RT 446 pack, man, this thing was absolutely stunning. Uh, but I wonder if the guy actually gets a chance to take it out and drive it and enjoy it. Either way, I'm glad that he had it there because it was really fun to look at. The guy that I almost bought that uh, satellite drag car from um, in a video, uh, this is him, uh, RT Garage out of Blaine, Minnesota. The guy's owned this car since he was about 15 or 16 too. He's running the exact same wheel size combination on the back, 15 by 10 with 295-65R drag radials. So, and I also love the color combination in case you couldn't tell. Here's a really awesome 446 pack A12 69 Roadrunner Survivor. I mean, I would literally drive the wheels off of that car. One of my dream cars is, uh, of course, the six pack uh, cars. Thought it was cool this guy brought this out. Man, bad luck, but you know, hey, he's still out there driving it, enjoying it, and hitting the shows. That Cornette was a nice survivor too on the other side. But this, this was probably the jewel of the show for me. Nothing says badass more than a 1970 blown Hemi Cuda. I mean, that is just totally um, error correct perfection. And speaking of different eras, um, this is one of my favorite drag cars from the day, the Mopar Missile. I kind of like the Challenger better than the Kudas, to be honest, which probably freaks a few people out. But, you know, tunnel rammed, Hemi, giant slicks in the back. I missed it when he was pulling it into the trailer. I would love to have heard that car run. And this is an old picture because I did not make it to the show. Yeah, the 318's not running the best. It kind of started leaking some coolant, and uh, I think it's about time that we go ahead and concentrate on pulling the engine. I'm going to have an update video of where we're at on that process here in a little bit, but thanks guys.